Hello, everybody, and welcome to Antisocial Skills. Let's get right into it with a sitch. You're a passenger on the Titanic, and you just hit the iceberg. What do you say to your true love before the boat sinks with you on it? Jeffrey Pitt. Drop the bazooka, what? kumquat. <laughs> Well, that's 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 interesting. Uh, uh, Eric. Well, you won't find that at Applebee's. <laughs> you won't. Didn't exist yet. Accurate. Nash. You are what you eat, and I'm an asshole. Well, then good. It all worked out. Heidi. This <laughs> mirror is Washington Foreskin's also a bad name. I think it's you. Dave. There's more than one way to bedazzle a cat. <laughs> there are. That's true. I don't know how you know that, but I'll take your word for it. And lastly, good friend Harrison Greenbaum. Some people spike the football. I insert it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes for a clean break. And I think Harrison wins that round. He'll be our first judge. <laughs> but first, I want to welcome everybody to Antisocial Skills. And let's first go over the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, theys and thems, and Roombas who become self-aware, welcome to antisocial skills. The rules are easy like Sunday morning, manic like Mondays, Ruby like Tuesdays. You, the players, will navigate up to eight situations using lines written by America's Funniest Comics. Your mission, use the lines to react to the situation in the funniest way possible. You will be given a situation or sitch and then click generate response and you may use one of three responses to react humorously to that situation. The winner of each round then becomes the next judge. Some situations have a challenge that everyone needs to do. If there is a challenge, two points are at stake and they may not be split. At the end of the game, the player with the highest score wins. This is not a breathalyzer test or the last election. Eh! There goes half our audience. Uh, like with mail, oh, there goes another more. Like with the mail, delivery matters. So the funnier or more convincing you say a line, the more likely you are to get a point. Do we have any questions? Good, because I'm all out of answers. Scorekeeper, are you ready? In that case, let's go ahead. First, Harrison Greenbaum, good friend from New York. How are you, Harrison, and what are you working on? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you can follow all my uh, live streaming, podcasting stuff at Harrison Comedy. And I'm excited because the difference between this and Last Comic Standing is that I might actually make it past round two. <laughs> you, you might. You might. It's 2020. Uh, I have a good fit, but Harrison's been doing some great, great stuff with, uh, to, with magic and comedy uh, during lockdown. Uh, and so if you're not already uh, uh, checking out uh, um, Harrison stuff, it's great. Um, let's see. Uh, Harrison, are you ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's generate a situation for us all and tell us what we got. All right. This one has a bonus challenge. Oh, uh, right off the bat. Well, give right us off the, the give bat. Us, give us the bonus challenge first. Let's try that. The bonus challenge for an extra point, say your line while fake crying. Okay. <laughs> fake crying. Ooh, okay, and the situation is? The Bob Dylan lyric you find most brilliant <laughs> is? Okay, it's crying Bob Dylans. Everyone's <laughs> going to click generate response if they haven't already. You're a very sad, very crying Bob Dylan. They, they, they finally told you, you you made it into the Wilburys by mistake. Um, <laughs> so sad Bob Dylan. Uh, uh, the sad Bob Dylan lyric you most admire, uh, Jeffrey. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. And I want to kill you, so tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, a violent Dylan. I haven't heard that one. Uh, how about Dave? Or Sabunga. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Dylan is very upset about that. <laughs> Heidi, she's already in character. And you're on the Cubs a long way. <laughs> after all these years he gets oh man why do i only finish a third of that cob uh uh eric eric what do you got for us it's perfectly natural for cows to smoke after milking <laughs> <laughs> is that one of that sounded kind of real to me i don't know <laughs> well we all learned something nash flynn bob dylan as crying the, the lyric you admire the most is on Dasher, on Dancer, on Richard M. Nixon. <laughs> hey, that could be a Bob Dylan lyric. Harrison, you tell us who won that round for two points to kick us off. I think the point and the Oscar goes to Heidi Perry. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Heidi Perry. I thought everyone did a great job. So that's very, very cool. Uh, well, uh, let's see. The, the winner is, uh, is Heidi, Heidi Perry. Um, yep. so, yeah. So let's, let's meet you, Heidi. How you doing? Hi. You got two points uh, right off the bat. Harrison's oh got one. High school, too. I know. This is, this is the lucky week. Tell us about you. How are you? Where are you? And what are you up to? All right. Well, uh, I am in the San Francisco Bay Area. I, uh, I'm training to be a dog trainer right now. Wait a and, minute. You're, uh, you are training to be a dog trainer. Yes. You have so to there... train to train. <laughs> so there are dog trainer trainers out there. Yes. Wow. Oh my, yes. That's fascinating. That's sort of like how we now we have a coronavirus task force task force. <laughs> yes. People to That's keep exactly track of the, the people are interesting, but yours is the interesting. So how's it going so far? Going great. Haven't been bitten yet. <laughs> the, tra the dog trainer trainers do that, or is that the dogs? Well, both. Like you're interested. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough in this economy. Um, yeah. Heidi, um, uh, anything, anything, uh, anything else? Anything you like to promote? Doesn't have to be your thing. Just anything in general. Well, well, uh, I, uh, I'm on Twitter at HeidiTron3000. Heidi Tron 3000. That's my only claim to fame. <laughs> Sound, yeah. Also the name of a product for sale in Japan, but we'll, yes. we'll get to that later, Heidi Tron 3000. Um, well, hey, everybody, we kicked off with a challenge, so we already burned one of them. So if you're at home watching this game or you're in your car, I don't know how your life's going. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 you got Wi Fi, that's all that matters. Uh, give us a comment, whether you're on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. I, MySpace. Who knows? Maybe we have Friendster, um, or whatever your 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 AOL got you onto, and and give us a challenge. Give us a give us create something new. We're tired of writing, but for right now, Heidi gets to be the judge. Heidi, can you give us a sitch? I can give you a sitch. As soon as it wants to generate for me. Okay. Are you on Prodigy, Heidi? There's a okay, bonus there challenge. There's a bonus. Oh. Challenge wow! This. Again, we need new challenges, everybody. <gasps> bonus challenge. Give us the bonus <gasps> challenge first. All right, you're gonna get an object. You're gonna put it on camera and puppeteer it, saying your line. Okay, so everyone needs to mute your cameras you right now. So mute your cameras. Okay, so we don't we don't see. Okay, so now we now that we have an extra second, I'm actually glad this happened because I, I have to talk to you about. The dog training, training. So you're training. Oh my! So, so you're training to tra what kind of dogs are you trying to train? Just any um, dogs? Most, most dogs. Yeah, I'll will take any dogs. Are there uh, any dogs you refuse to train? Large, small, in between. Large, small, in between. Any dogs you refuse to train? Snoop to Dog. <laughs> oh, hey, Snoop come on, dog. come on. He's well, he's all trained already. That's that's true. I mean, what would be the point? Getting him to show up to talk shows on time? I don't know. Um, no, no personal nah, story there. Nah. Um, okay, so uh, everybody, get ready to come back. If you keep your object out of frame, you're gonna puppeteer, okay? And uh, bring up uh, your your cameras, everybody. Ready? Here we go. All right. Give all us, right, man. Give us the sitch. On your deathbed. You summon the relative you barely know to lean in and whisper to them. Dave? Look me in the eye and tell me you've never tried to lick a dolphin. <laughs> Jeffrey. God damn it. Now I have to pluck my armpits. It's a hairy butterfly we got there. Uh, Nash? Paper or plastic or just eat it all here while I watch. Okay, everybody. This is where we realize we're going to be on Dateline at some point. And uh, that's, a, that's a TV credit, which is hard to come by in our industry right now. Um, Nash, will, guys, keep Nash around just for later. Sam, call that number. All right, uh, Eric. Okay, give us a sitch again, Heidi. One more time. Sorry. Okay, one more time. Just a sitch. <clears throat> on your deathbed, you summon the relative you barely know to lean in, and you whisper to them. Eric? <laughs> oh, me, the one-eyed, one-horned, flying, purple pussy eater. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. All right. I'm gonna go quick. <laughs> That's that is oddly hard to Harrison. Uh, you're on your deathbed. The, the the relative you barely know, and you say. Before I pull out my object, I it is true that whoever wins this gets first dibs on the vaccine, right? <laughs> uh, it's you're, you're you're in the first percentile of dibs. All right. For the well, vaccine, this, then it's worth it for this. Okay. <laughs> Even if I just finish brushing my teeth. I'm still like, I'll eat some ass. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ass, shark, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, Heidi, uh, you, got some, you got a couple tough choices there. Oh, God, it's and tough. It's for, two, it's for two points. Ah, it takes God. that round. It's actually going to have to go to Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he earned it. I got I to gotta say, that was <laughs> just, just when I'll you- eat some ass. <laughs> yeah, just just when you think it's safe to go back into the bathroom and brush your teeth, you gotta, <laughs> we're gonna need a bigger brush. Um, so, um, well, everybody, just tuning in late. Where the fuck were you? First of all, uh, <laughs> welcome to Antisocial Skills. My name is John. I am the host, and um, uh, we have a a big. Uh, this is a big, big week for us. We've been working on this game since uh, the summertime. I don't remember. Uh, I'll be honest with you, folks. I don't remember actually technically agreeing to do this. <laughs> Uh, but uh, the, one day I was on a Zoom call with Sam and, and Wade, and uh, I was coming up with uh, weird jokes. And so uh, aliens or just the, the heat, I don't know what it was, um, but I'm, I'm here. And we've had a great time with it. And uh, the thing is, uh, we did one of those uh, Kickstarter. We, we decided, we said, what, what, what can we can succeed with during a pandemic and a divisive election? We said, oh, I know, do a Kickstarter. <laughs> great, but you won't believe it. We're almost there. We are almost there uh, right. through, through, through our friends, through our family, uh, through other gamers, through, through people who have helped us out in the media. Um, just it's, it's been so cool. It's been this great uh, kind of come from behind great story. And uh, we're almost there. And our deadline, though, is uh, this Thursday at 9 a.m. Thursday, 9 a.m. For real, the polls closed. We don't do mail ins. It's 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 you got to hit your <laughs> mark or not. Uh, so imagine imagine a world without ass kills is is and without okay. And that's what that's what we were. That's the last four years. The next four years is with ass kills, and you got to do it by nine a.m. Uh, this Thursday. And um and it, again, it's 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 I don't know why but it's A is an anti, uh, S is in social skills dot com, and we're very cheap at buying uh, web domains. Um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, but before let's let's get to meet our other players for everyone that's that's tuning in real quick. Let's go with a couple here. Uh, Nash Flynn, very nice to meet. You. I never met you before. Where are you? How you doing? And what are you up to? Um, I'm in Boston. Wow, great! I was just in Boston. Oh, why? We might know each other. <laughs> Everybody in Boston does. To be they, honest, you do eventually after about a week. Yeah. 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 How? So uh, so what are you up to? What's going on? Um. Well, um, I'm a comedian in quarantine. So okay. nothing. Yeah, um, I do have a live show that I host with two friends. Uh, we go live every other Saturday on Twitch. Um, my show is called Cabin Fever Comedy. You can follow us. Yeah, and, familiar. Yeah. yeah, it's a good that's show. Great. Cabin Fever Comedy. Yeah, one of our one of our writers helps run that yeah. show. Yeah. Just some guy. That's his stage yeah. name, as he's known. Just some guy. Um, I don't actually so, know his real name. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, very nice to meet you. <laughs> you uh, very nice to meet you, Nash. Thanks for playing with us, uh, Eric. How you doing? Where are you? Uh, what's going on? And what are you up to? I'm good. I'm in Los Angeles. Um, I work in manufacturing. I have two dogs who are currently being super annoying. Hey, and... Heidi, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> get down. Get down. I have a mental training session with them. <laughs> Send them some vibes. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been working through the pandemic. We we were deemed essential, so no uh, no quarantine for me. Uh, I've been working the whole time. Well, good. Well, that's good. That's a, that's a good thing to have. Uh, are you guys ready to play the next round? Yeah. Harrison, you're the judge again. Graduate. You're also in the lead. So you can control, control fate here a little bit. Generate a sitch for us, please. All right. I also, is it poor form to promote my competing Kickstarter? It's also for a board game. It's just <laughs> pandemic, but I put tape on it and it says too soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly pandemic, but everything in the box says too soon on it. <laughs> no, that's go right ahead. Yes, plug that. <laughs> uh, All right, the situation. Just, just is... donate. I covered you. Here you are. Generate a sitch. 
<laughs> the health inspector is touring your restaurant. When a deer bolts out of the kitchen, you calmly say, Jeffrey? I like big butts and I cannot lie. I did cut down that cherry tree. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sir, Wash Sir Washington's a lot. Great. Uh, Nash in Boston. When that deer runs through your restaurant, you tell the health inspector. Don't think just because I'm wearing flip-flops, I won't kick you in the nutsack. I didn't. I didn't think that. <laughs> Not for one minute. Eric, you say in response to that deer? It's bleach o'clock somewhere. It is bleach o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Over at the landscaping shop. <laughs> <They're all> having... <laughs> Yay! We won, right? Bleach for everybody. Don't tell them. All right. Uh, Dave, you're the, you're your own a restaurant. The deer runs through. You turn to the health inspector. You say, "That's what she didn't say." <laughs> well, did you? How do you know? She, I don't know about. Well, I'll tell you who does know animals is is Heidi. Heidi, you turn to the health inspector when that deer runs through the restaurant to cover yourself. You say, "God damn it! Now I have to pluck my armpits." <laughs> <laughs> You know, I feel that sounds familiar, but I don't know. Um, Harrison, you tell us, who do you think won that round? Uh, and I'm not just saying that because he has the handicap of two dogs, but <laughs> Eric Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, nice job. <laughs> nice job, Eric. Two dogs and a valuable Star Wars collectible and a lava lamp that could be broken at any moment. Any okay. second. <laughs> that's, the, hey, that's the old school one that will actually set business. your house on fire. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, congratulations, and uh, well, and Eric, we got to know you. He's, he's home. He's manufacturing uh, through the pandemic. Uh, let, let's meet the, our other our other players we've not yet, yet talked to. Uh, Dave, how you doing? Where are you? What are you up to? What'd you like to plug, Dave? I'm doing good. Um, I, I live in the LA area also, uh, and I'll plug my brother's podcast, the Mister Mysterio podcast. It's oh yeah, I know Mister Mysterio podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's your brother. <laughs> He does good work, huh? That's great. That's so cool. Well, thank you for playing with us. How you yeah. doing? Everything good in LA? Y you know, we're uh, we, we have we have uh, you know huge numbers of COVID cases, and we all yeah. have all day. But it's great. It's really, I you know. Well, we're we're pulling for you, Dave, and uh, we were we, you know you know it's 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 been a great earth. It's that Jimmy Buffett lyric: "Fires, riots, and mudslides, sushi at the mall." Yeah, that's been LA's twenty twenty. But uh, we we hope you're coming back. Congratulations on the, uh, the the Los Angeles Red Sox, by the way, who won the World Series this year. You're welcome. That was our don <laughs> that was our donation to you. <laughs> our best player in hundred years. You can have him. Uh, and Jeffrey, let's get to meet you. Where are you? Uh, how you doing? And what are you up to? Hey, I'm Jeff. I'm from Los Angeles. A lot of us LA people apparently Great. here. Um, I'm an ex Google engineer. Uh, I went to Carnegie Mellon, uh, and I host a show called What You Need to Know. Um, we just hit 4 million views on TikTok and, wow. uh, it's also on, uh, Twitter and, uh, Instagram and fun fact, I, I once told Matt Damon to shut up. That's my <laughs> time out. What happened? How did that happen? Well, we'll come back to that in a second. Okay. okay. All right. We do have to play. Oh, okay. Uh, but we're, it's all fresh in our mind, but right now I'm going to go back to Eric. Uh, you, you won the last round. You're on the board. You got a point. Can you generate a sitch for us? All right, here we go. A gorilla has you cornered at the zoo, but you're pretty sure you can scare him away by shouting. Dave? That's an impressive stool. <laughs> yeah, gorillas don't, gorillas don't like furniture jokes. Um, Harrison. <laughs> That's how we do it in Margaritaville, son. Fuck <laughs> around with my salt and find out. <laughs> That's my second favorite Jimmy Buffett lyric. <laughs> he's, going, he's going through a dark period in that time. Nash. Sweet mother of Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I think that would just encourage the gorilla. The gorilla would sense weakness, I think. Whoa. No, he's terrified. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then uh, Heidi, you yell at that gorilla to get the gorilla to run. I've been told that my musk is irresistible, is irresistible to women, small birds, and raccoons. Okay, that's what you've been told. And then finally, Jeffrey, you yell at that gorilla. Where were you when you planned 9-11? Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I, I think I have a feeling here. Uh, who scared that gorilla away? 
Well, I'm very partial to poop jokes, so it's all it's for Dave. Oh wow! Okay, Dave, congratulations, congratulations, Dave. Dave takes that round. Um, but before we continue, real quick, I have to go back. Jeffrey, you told who to shut up and why? Okay, so I was running a comedy show in in, in West Hollywood, and um, this guy who looked like if Matt Damon was bald and fat uh, was in the back like being really loud and wrecking the show. So I said, sir, can you be quiet? Um, we're trying to run a comedy show. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. And then later the bouncer said, no, no, that was Matt Damon. So I told Matt Damon to shut up and he listened to me. And now it's on my resume as directed Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you yelled at him because you were a Google engineer and he corrected an equation on the chalkboard as a janitor. <laughs> that, that is good. And, and the reason he was, he wasn't uh, fat. He was muscle, muscled up and he was, he wasn't um, balding. He had shaved his head for that movie Elysium. That's why I didn't recognize Got him. It. Right. When he played, who can forget when he played King Kong Bundy? That was great. That was, uh, <laughs> well, that was my favorite role of his. Uh, but Dave, <laughs> Dave, you got the last round. You got the last point. You get to be, uh, you get to be judge. Uh, generate a sitch. All right. You see a, bake, a baker sneeze on someone's order before they complete the transaction. You yell, Harrison. Imagine getting that good at math and then still letting the challenger blow up. Hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I just saw the documentary. Well, it, was a, it was a tragedy. <laughs> you just now learned about it. <laughs> there has been a lot of bad news lately. Okay, so you're in a bakery. So you see someone sneeze on something. Before that transaction is completed, you say, Eric? Let's burn this Mother Teresa down! <laughs> I don't know that you need to go that far, but okay. Uh, Nash, to stop that germ spread, you say? This is between you, me, the wall, cool, and the gang. Oh. <laughs> Keeping it, just, it's just us and the funky people. We're the only ones that know. Uh, and then uh, Jeffrey? Who put my dog down? Who, <laughs> who, 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 you? <laughs> wow, yeah, that would, that would, <laughs> That would definitely cease operations, I guess, at a bakery. Um, and and really, uh, putting a dog down, who better to go to last than Heidi, who's training, who's training to train dogs? Uh, guys, we have to work on our segues here. Okay, so you're at a bakery. You see someone sneeze on something. Before they complete the transaction, you yell out, Don't look at me. I voted for the blue M&M. <laughs> Write-ins are important. They're they're important. Uh, Dave, who takes that round? That's a it's a tough call, but I I'm gonna go with uh, Jeffrey. Oh yes. All right, Jeffrey, very good. Sweet. You're our winner. Well, let's keep it moving then. I guess Jeffrey, generate a sitch. All right. Oh, we've seen that one. Um, okay, so guys, you've just had the perfect date. Now to seal the deal at the end, you say Harrison. Everyone at the orgy mocked my fanny pack, but when the dental dam ran out, suddenly I was Graham Pooba. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could go one of two ways, I would think. Um, you can read that from a card. I was just talking extemporaneously. Yeah, no, we know, we know. Um, <laughs> Eric. It's the good old days when they just sewed our mouths to each other's buttholes. Wow, yeah, I think, <laughs> speaking of people who know each other, uh, Nash, and that you you blurt out. Want to buy some illegal fireworks? <laughs> some illegal fireworks <laughs> in the coat. Okay, can we get that sitch one more time as we finish out this round? Uh, Whoever read uh, that. <laughs> yes, you've just had the perfect date. So to seal the deal at the end, you say. Okay, Dave. How much dumb could a dump truck dump? <laughs> Dump truck could dump truck. <laughs> I, yes, the physicality seals it for me. And then finally, <laughs> Heidi, to seal the deal, you say? You know, on Bizarro Earth, the Fourth Amendment gives bears the right to human arms. <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge is power, kids. Wow. All right, give us the winner. Who gets the point? All right, this was a tough one, but I'm going to go with uh, Nash, and I do want those fireworks. Okay. All right. Yeah, that gets Nash on the board. We're gonna we're gonna continue on with, uh, with uh, Judge Nash in, in just a second. 
But uh, I, again, I'm going to plug the Kickstarter. But folks, uh, if I can, I'd, I'd like to turn serious here for a minute. Um, so the, just the truth about the Kickstarter is this, because we're all coming clean about things uh, right now. And um, here's the truth, is that we're, we're very close to reaching our goal on our Kickstarter. I'm confident in it. It's been growing throughout the day. I think we're going to get there. But life's uncertain these uncertain times. And so uh, you may not know this, but there's actually a special protection that comes with Kickstarters in case someone something happens to uh, one of the people that is on the Kickstarter. And um, so long story short, uh, if we don't hit our goal, we're only like, I think, a few hundred off. We don't hit it by Thursday. It's, it's very simple. Uh, I have to kill Sam, <laughs> Sam Liberty, one of the game's creators. I have to murder him. I've known him for 20 years. He was my roommate in college. He was my best man um, at my first wedding, but he won't be at my next one because uh, I have to kill him. And um, the reason being is that, uh, so Wade, our other game designer, he's six foot four. He once really freaked out uh, Ryan Reynolds and um, just for being tall and looking goofy. And uh, I said, well, then I can't go, I can't kill him. He's too tall and he'll freak me out because he freaked out Ryan Reynolds. He had to, that's another story. And so I said, well, I have to call Sam. So I, I called Sam's wife and I said, if people don't go to askkills.com and click on buy the game and just and back us or support us or, or get a live uh, play along, um, I'm going to have to kill your husband, Sam, if they don't go to askkills.com by Thursday at 9 a.m. And uh, she said, and I quote, easy come, easy go. And here's the worst part. Um, <laughs> she, she didn't say it so much as sing it like in Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, so she's been very ready for this moment. So, so look, I'm not trying to pass judgment on anybody. Uh, I'm not trying to I I implicate anyone in a crime that hasn't happened yet. And God, you know, God knows Freddie Mercury had nothing to do with this. But uh, we do need to hit our goal by Thursday at 9 a.m. Or just Sam Liberty has to, has to has to die. And and Sam Liberty is a real man. He's a real human. You can look him up. And not just uh, the eagle from the Muppet Show as many of my friends in college thought he was. So they actually met <laughs> the real Sam Liberty. Sam, his real name is Samuel Abraham Liberty, as in died when we didn't reach our goal at askkills.com by Thursday at 9 a.m. <laughs> Two kids without a dad all because of you, because you didn't donate right now. Askkills.com. <laughs> Fat bottom girls make the rock and world go around. All right, everybody, this is the final round. This is the last round. Nash, you get to be the judge. Can you generate a stitch? I should have learned how to read. Um, we <laughs> do have a challenge. Oh, we have a challenge. Mm -hmm. Give us a challenge first. Respond while dancing like you're at a club. Hey, that's a good one to go out at. Some people could move around here on this one in the standings. Two points are at stake. And what is the sitch? After reading the lyrics to your favorite song, you can't believe this whole time you were singing. Heidi? Move over so grandma can pee. <laughs> there you go. I remember, I remember that good one from the 80s. Dave? Ate corn on the cob the long way. Dave party's <laughs> interesting at a club. <laughs> I'm, that's who I'm hanging out with at the club. <laughs> What do you think of fantasy baseball this year, Dave? <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, the, the song lyric, you can't believe you, you heard wrong while you're dancing at a club. Jeffrey? There's a cock ring in my happy meal. <laughs> cock, 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 right. cock. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Eric, dancing at the club. The lyric, you can't believe you got wrong. There's plenty more ham where I got that ham. <laughs> If ham got could got ham. Yeah, I know that one. And then last, my old pal, Harrison Greenbob, the lyric you can't believe you got wrong is? I came on Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nash, take us home. Who wins that round? I think I have to give it to Harrison. Like, oh, and Harrison and everybody, that was the final round. Harrison Greenbaum is our winner, everybody. Champ. Yes, Good job, Harrison. you go home with a prize package the same as everybody else who played tonight. Remember Thank you this? so much. Yes. Woo! yes. Wow. Props. Nice. Was, not, was not prepared. <laughs> but you know what? Props for those props. And thank you, everybody, for playing along. And thank you for everyone for tuning in tonight. Again, uh, if you check out the little link. Yeah, there we go. There we got a little plug from Eric. Thank you for everybody uh, for, for tuning in tonight. 
And again, we got till Thursday at 9 a.m. to reach our little goal uh, at askhills.com to get antisocial skills. The game of the 20s out to you in time, just in time to play when parties are allowed. And until that's allowed, play with us online, uh, askhills.com. Thank you very much. A hand for everybody who played tonight, including from people who played tonight. And I hope you have a